Hello everyone, welcome back to Think Like a Chef. Today, we're gonna tackle the challenge of reheating fried chicken. Of course, we're talking about restoring that crispy, crackling crunch. Anyone can reheat soggy, wet chicken, right? And we're gonna test KFC chicken since everyone knows that one. So, Cooks Illustrated published a method that's supposed to work very well. And I tested the method and decided it wasn't quite up to par. So I did some more testing and found what I believe is the very best way. In fact, I was rather shocked to discover that if done properly, it restored the crunch even better than the original. Now, I know that's a bit far out, so let's take a look at how it works. First, let's take a look at the Cook's Illustrated Method. Their method calls for room temperature chicken that is then reheated to an internal temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. They do that in the oven. Here, I've taken fried chicken out of the fridge. It's still not quite room temperature, but it's pretty close. And you'll see in the later testing why this should make any real difference. I'm poking holes in the saran wrap. Steaming the outside would obviously not make for great chicken. Now, the key thing to use is a pro thermometer. If you don't have that, then you could periodically check with a meat thermometer, but the pro makes it so much easier. And remember, the target internal temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna get started. On the timer, I set it to a long duration because it doesn't matter. We'll come back before it runs out. Okay, great. The internal temperature is 120 and we're ready to test the crunch and the flavor. And you know what? It's actually pretty good. The skin looks and feels pretty crunchy, and I know it's pretty hard to tell in a video, but I'm pretty satisfied with the skin. And as for the meat inside, it's pretty okay. So after this first test, I got to thinking, what if we had put the chicken in the freezer? Yeah, that's right. That might sound crazy at first, but stay with me for a second. The logic goes like this. If the inside of the chicken is frozen, that would give us more time in the oven to crisp up the skin without overcooking the inside, right? The meat will stay cool longer and the longer temperature time will further evaporate the moisture of the skin, making for an even better crunch. So you know what? Let's put that to the test. Here, you can see that the chicken is frozen. You can see the frozen crystals on the skin and I can't even get the thermometer inside to test the temperature. So let's try putting this in the oven. But we have a problem. Because the chicken is frozen, how do we use a pro thermometer? What I did was cook the chicken by itself for 10 minutes. The temperature stayed the same at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first stage is defrosting the chicken enough to insert the probe. Jeez. Sounds like we're talking about a UFO abduction. Anyways, once the chicken was defrosted, I put in the probe and set the alarm for 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's continue cooking and we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, there goes the alarm. We're gonna take out the probe and get ready to test the chicken. What I noticed immediately is that the crunch is better. The longer cook time has taken out the moisture from the skin, I can even hear the crunch. That's what I meant when I said it might be even better than the original. Now, before you go, let me give you some advice. It's best to reheat chicken of the same size. A wing will obviously heat up faster than the breast. Or if you need to do different sizes, put the probe thermometer in the smallest piece and then come back to do the bigger pieces. Continue reheating the larger pieces as you take out the smaller ones. So there you have it. If you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.